in this problem, we are being asked to use a graphing calculator to find local extrema. Local extrema, those are the, the neighborhood maximum or minimum points in a function. In this particular problem, we're given this big old polynomial, a fourth degree polynomial, and we're being asked to find any points where there's a local minimum. The fact that we can use a graphing calculator to do this makes it pretty easy. Uh, you can use the one in Alex. I'm going to use desmos.com. And what I've done is typed this in already. I, I put y equals and then the function. And uh, if you're not familiar with how to type uh, in powers in, in graphing calculators like this, you have to use that caret symbol, the shift six on most keyboards uh, to get the powers. And then if, um, if you're typing the power and the next thing you type kind of sticks along with the power, you might need to press the forward arrow after you type the power to get to the back down to the normal level of the function. So uh, if you have any difficulty with that, you know, ask your teacher about how to do it. But uh, a little trial and error, you can probably figure that out. I've gone ahead and just typed this whole function in, and you can see it here. And really, finding the local minima, which is what we're supposed to do in this problem, uh, is pretty trivial once you've got the function typed in. Uh, we just click on this graph, and it shows us the interesting points, the local minima, the local maximum, uh, the zeros of the function. So we can just hover here and read them off. So I've got, and we're supposed to go to, to nearest hundredth. So this is negative 1.04, negative 1.02, and this is 0.87 and uh, negative 3.3. So that would be the answer to this, this problem. These are the local minima of the function. So that's a little bit of work with using a graphing calculator to find uh, the local minima of a function.